it's Bebop307 here and welcome back to Niche and the Zodiac Tribes. I am here with the Dragon Tribe today and in the last episode we got some really cool babies. <laughs> but uh, before we talk about the really cool stuff, let's just pay respects to Savannah. She was such a really, she was just such a nice and kind Nichling. Um, and as an example, like just a little memory. Uh, when she first met her mate Jarell, he was mourning the loss of a loved one. She didn't know him. She didn't know anything. All she knew is that he was sad, so she came down and she mourned with him. And I think that's a perfect representation of how awesome of a person, well, person, of a nicheling she was, you know, of a personality. And she also had a bunch of very, very beautiful babies. She had our first ever twins in the Dragon Tribe. Actually, our first set of twins that we've had in a very long time, Luca and Luna. And then she also gave birth to Tyrone and Solaris over here. So she has had quite a lovely family and her mate will soon be joining her. And you guys, so in the last episode, we were talking about how Nichlings with black horns um, could be kind of like either nichelings with melanism or black horns could be the nest protectors because that's something that started in the rabbit tribe and was actually a really cool addition because the first ever one was called forth from the sea foam and didn't know their purpose in life but ended up realizing that they were meant to like protect nest and guard and protect families and we've kind of expanded that that they are just meant for one sole purpose and I just realized Jarrell has those. His son Tyrone and Solaris both have black horns. So there is one thing that they are destined for. And I think that it's pretty fitting for Solaris to be hunting and that he has been drawn to hunting. So it looks like he's supposed to be a major food provider and just a very skilled hunter. So he's definitely gonna wanna aim up to where Jalen, uh, Dot Dot, and Blizzard are over here and grab up these bunnies. And definitely gonna wanna smack this bunny before we do anything else. He's not gonna be able to kill it though. Oh, I just realized that. But he's definitely gonna wanna head up over there and collect all those bunnies. But if that's the case, then what is his? What is Tyrone's special thing? I mean, I'm honestly very curious. Hmm. And do all horn colors have meaning? Like, that's another thing. Like, if these horns have, like, if they uh, mean that you're a, you're destined for something, then what do the silver horns mean? I don't know. I'm kind of curious. But we're going to go ahead and see how this plays out. And one of you guys suggested, I think it was actually Mordecai Priestess, you suggested that Snowflower might want to go break an ice block, see if she gets a mate that way. And I was actually thinking of sending her out to get a mate soon, but I completely forgot that there was another ice block on this island. So I really want to see if we can get over there in this episode and get ourselves a mate for Sunflower because she does have to think about her lineage. She is the leader right now and she has no spouse, she has no kids, no one to continue her leadership line. So I think that's something that's going to be very important to her. So she might even head out herself, head out herself in search of a mate. So we're going to go ahead and let's see, what is your purpose? For now, we'll just have him swipe up some berries. Oh, what am I doing? Huh, being silly, that's what. Let's go ahead, swipe up a bunny. Let's swipe up this one and this one. Look at all them bunnies. Bunny, bunny. And perhaps, hmm. Let's see if we can't, is this bunny within range? Not quite. We're gonna collect up the bunny meat. Now you are. Just making sure we can swipe you up. And then we'll go ahead and send Ruaka down here. And Jalen, how helpful, how helpful. He has, um, again, he's keeping an eye on, uh, let's see, on Dot Dot here because he wants to make her, he, he basically adopted him, kind of took care of him because both of his parents weren't around. So he is, I mean, they look alike anyway. Like they look really alike. So it kind of makes sense, you know? Goodness, I didn't even realize how similar they looked. Oh, look at how pretty. We need to zoom in more often. I'm always like super zoomed out so I can see everything, but it's nice to zoom in every now and again and see how everyone's doing. 
but we do have a baby over here that I'm really looking forward to and a Kravit snack for our wonderful sneaky pelt whenever she's um, ready for it. And let's go ahead and actually, as much as Sunflower wants to gather this up and she really, really wants to, I think she is going to realize that right now for her, since she only has so much time left, getting to the other side of this island is most important. And I think perhaps she's going to enlist Dot Dot uh, and ask that he sit on the trunk for her so that she can move further. But that's for the next turn. Um, Azola could try calling, but I don't want to risk it. We're instead going to grab up that meat, get ourselves some more food, and then we are going to try to use up our turns. And let's make sure that all of our nichlings grab what they can. Jarrell will go ahead and knock things down. He can't, maybe he can, oh, he wasn't able to grab it. It looks like that's all we're able to do. We do have almost 100 food, which is good because Sunflower wants us to have a very big tribe and we get to look at the next baby and I'm so excited because he has such pretty kids. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, whoop, whoops, whoop. There we go. Okay, let's pass the turn. So excited. Ah! Oh my gosh. 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 He's a he's a white tiger. Oh my gosh. Have the tiger tribes return. A and I immunity, almost perfect fertility, perfect eyesight. Oh my gosh. I can't get I can't get over how awesome he is. He's so pretty. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and give him a really good name. Uh, Ghost. Oh, I like that. That was actually a recent name suggestion. I forgot uh, the, the person who suggested this, but it was on the, the last video. They wanted it specifically for the Dragon Tribe. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use at least one name in the next episode I record. So we're gonna go ahead and use Ghost. Thank you for suggesting that. I think your name was, um, was it Drizzle? <laughs> I, I can't remember your username, uh, but yeah, so we used one of your names. Thank you so much for your suggestions, and thanks again, guys, for everyone who has suggested names. I'm very happy that we've been using them a lot more. I feel like we've been doing much better about that. But here's Ghost. He's a, he is a real ghost. Oh, and he has brown eyes. Oh my gosh. He, he kind of, we're starting to get some fierce dragons. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So let's see, Sneaky Pelt, huh, we're gonna go ahead and sit you up here, I think, okay, Nichlings with two gems are big enough to watch after the babies, aren't they? I think that was something, yeah, so in any case, I'm gonna go ahead, ah, it didn't work, oh, that one worked, that one worked, so we're gonna start sending... Um, oh, you guys are all grown up. I'm going to start sending Sneaky Pelt this way. Uh, ooh, she is very close to passing away. She does have another baby. I look forward to the... Ah, speaking of passing away, oh my gosh, Jarell just died. Oh no. Uh, I feel sad. Uh, let's go ahead and send Tyrone up here. I'm feeling sad now. Oh my gosh. Let's actually send her here. Really? Really? Where she's not? Oh, how rude. But, okay. We have some other important matters to focus on. Let's send Dot Dot up here so that Sunflower can go as far as she can. Um, no, that didn't really do, any do anything. And this way, she, sh she is making her way over to the ice block, so she should be able to get there soon. We have all these other Nichlings. Solaris, why don't you go ahead and do some hunting? Let's actually sit Ruaka back here. Uh, how much strength do you have? You only have one. Oh, how frustrating. There we go. Solaris following his destiny. Tyrone, no idea what his is going to be. I'm wondering... Luca's feeling a little bit out of place right here. Her brother is in a better position and she doesn't quite know what to do. I think she might, I think she's starting to feel the urge to kind of just leave. 
to do something else, to change things up, you know? And oh, before I forget, let's grab up this crab it. It's a good food source. Oh, apparently a really good food source. I just don't know what to do. And I'm very tempted to actually call and see if perhaps we get any Nietzschlings. So let's, it's very risky, but I think Ruaka just felt the sudden urge to sing like our rabbit tribe ancestors. Um, and Blizzard, on the other hand, is a lot more cautious. He's definitely got that more cautious nature. He is one of the original members of the rabbit tribe, now in the dragon tribe. So he's definitely held on to that. But I don't think we have any other Nietzschlings we can move. No, not really. Not unless I want to do that a couple times. <laughs> Which isn't really worth it. So let's go ahead past the turn. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. No. Yes, she lives. Eat the fruit. Have a baby. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And our Nietzschlings over here are growing up. Growing up nice and strong. Skemet is about to pass away, but he's with his kids and he's he's very happy. He had it he had has an amazing family. And let's actually go ahead and send Elijah over here. And there's definitely something special about Elijah and this family. There's something so amazing about them. It makes me so happy. It's just they're probably like the most beautiful Nietzscheling family that I've had ever um, or at least in a very long time is that's how it feels anyway so I think I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna clear that out just cuz we're, we're all still here you know I'm gonna scoot little ghosts down here and we're doing some hunting too but I wonder I wonder what I really like the silver horns and the, their colors, especially, especially Elijah, because just, I just realized he's like all, almost all the same tone, but I wonder what the silver horns mean. I wonder if they're feeling kind of like how, like how Luca feels, but in any, any case, let's go ahead and let's get you a dude, hopefully. Um, we're going to send... Dot Dot down here, he is being uh, kind of commanded by Sunflower to assist in finding this rock and finding her a mate. We're going to try to dig some stuff up and she's going to sit by the rock and she is still kind of using, I wonder if dragons have really good like calling abilities so that perhaps even though they're far away, they can still like hear each other. Maybe like advanced singing, <laughs> advanced singing classes or something like that. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, oh, you haven't been keeping a close eye on the berries, my friend. Haven't been cle cle keeping, keeping, keeping a close eye. Let's go ahead and do this. And I think, I think Luca, she's not feeling very fulfilled. I think she might start stepping away from the tree and seeing if there's something else waiting for her. Because it's just not her. It feels, it feels wrong. Something different is calling to her. But what is it? In any case, we're going to go ahead. We're going to pass the turn. We have a lovely baby waiting. And we'll be able to break open the ice block just before the episode ends. Which I'm so glad because I really wanted to get Sunflower a mate, hopefully, in this episode. I'm really curious to see what Jean will get. But let's go ahead and pass the turn. I did move everyone, right? I did move Raka and um, Azola. Oh, sweet Azola. But I think that's okay for this one. Let's go ahead, pass the turn. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Rikora! Oh, I like her name. I like her name. There's a wasp outside the window, and I'm not happy about it. Go away. We don't like your kind here. Wasps. They are evil. They are evil. What was it? E-V-I-L-W-A-S-P-S. <laughs> you have to say it a lot faster in order to do it in that tune. But she, unfortunately, oh, she's not very fertile. Fertile? Blah. What a way to say that. She's not very fertile. She does have perfect eyesight, though, and she does have perfect blood clotting. She's overall pretty healthy. Gosh, she's kind of like, she looks very lean, like very skinny. It makes me think she's, like, she's kind of a runner. Let's see. Let's go ahead and give her a name. 
I'm gonna do a random name this time. Oh, do, 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 whoop. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna name her Yam. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So we have Yam, the youngest of the siblings, and unfortunately, I do believe Skema. Yep. Yam. Yam. I hit the wrong button. Yam. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does look like Skemet has passed away, which sucks because I love him, but uh, before we end the episode, because I want to be nice to myself <laughs> more than anything, this is for me. This isn't me being nice to you guys. <laughs> um, I want to, I want to break this open. I want to see who's in there. What? What? The sunflower. Look at that. Ooh, and he's compatible with you. Sunflower, I do believe Nukirkir is quite perfect for you. Let's go ahead and let's give him a name before we end the episode. I'm gonna close my eyes. We're gonna do the random scroll again. Open Frost Tail. Okay, sure. Let's go ahead and name you Frost Tail, buddy. Frost Tail. Let's see. He's got K and H immunity. I don't believe we have K immunity. That's new. He's got blue eye recessives. Ooh, since she has purple eyes, oh, that'd be so good to have some blue eyed and purple eyed nichelings in her, in, bleh, in her line. Actually, I'm gonna try to really keep purple eyes in her line. I think that would be really cool. So, he does have swimmer body, not swimmer body, he does have swimming tail, but he has armored body. So, I think since we need some more guards and more dragony looking creatures, that might not be a bad idea for us to work on. But yeah, otherwise, he's actually he's pretty healthy so there you go sunflower there's your mate your future spouse oh my gosh and her eyes are so beautiful but all right you guys i am going to end that there i hope you enjoyed this episode i want to thank you all for watching but i gotta be bopping that out here and i'll see you in the next one goodbye